Oh. Never mind. Howdy, partners. Welcome back to... <laughs> Wait, what was the name of guy who went to a rough duel? Alright, howdy, partners. Sorry about that. Welcome back to West of Loathing. Honestly, I'm just not going to stick with the cowboy accent. I'm only going to do it if I'm in a, in a conversation. Uh, last time, we made it to dirt water, but off camera, I decided to wander around a bit and discover uh, all the locations within the area, as you can tell. I've only checked out a couple of them, but I did not do anything more with them, as far as I remember. Last time I remember, we were at Fort Cowardice. That's right, right? I didn't do any more with this. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, all right, yeah. We were going to go to the general's office because we didn't have a lockpick. That's why I was trying to go wandering around so I could get another needle. And I got six. <laughs> you got a lot of stuff for exploring off camera. We're going to continue the adventures. Um, so, first off, we are checking out general's room. So lockpick it. And, of course, there's another general... Who likes firing? Are you open pie safe? Yeah, he's firing at the pie safe. I think we ought to talk to this guy and get our goblin accent on. I'm still angry, by the way. Alright, I ought to get their attention. Sir, what are you doing? Shooting pies, always, always shooting pies. Could you elaborate on that? <laughs> Why shooting a pie? Yes. This is destroying, obviously. Must destroy a terrible pie. What is wrong with the pie? Bah! A human will never understand him. I gotta ask them again. No, really. Why a pie? Why, uh, why a pie shooting? Shut up. So much angry. Lucky. I'm pretty sure p being a pie is destroyed. Destroy? Uh huh? Look, as so many holes said, pie is safe. You winning. A pie is dead. You certain being. Wait here. I will ch checking. Check. Yep, that pie is shot. Okay. Hooray, you are a success. Your pie is a very destroyed bee. I, I doing it? Be so much doing it. Now what? Huh? What I shooting now? Uh, I guess you find another pie. What? There are more pies being. Yes, a world full of pies. Oh no, the violence will never ending. Sorry, being. Not wishing to enabling this whole behavior. No, this is my cross bearing. I must go into continuing the fight. If I can horn swoggle him. I have horn swoggling. Leave the gun. Fighting a pie with honor with fists. Yes, you correct. Truly a pie must be with my own strength fighting. Well, that makes me the general now. So all we did that for... Oh, and we got a lead pie. I didn't expect to get anything out of walking up to this. What does this do? Range damage. Okay, let's see. How good is this? I already have like 18 moxie. I think I can... Settle this. I'll keep this gun in case I need more moxie. If I need literally 18 moxie. So that was it for this area. Huh? I didn't actually expect there to be about it. But that doesn't matter. We still have plenty of areas to go to on this episode of West of Loathing. So. Hey gamers, we're back at that segment again where I say you're gonna hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Sally, and Larry, and Mr. Boris. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, hit that subscribe button notification bell right now, or, uh, uh... I don't know. Something will happen. Nothing actually really happens, to be honest. But, you know... It'd be nice. Uh... You'll get good luck, I don't know. Uh, we're going to the graveyard now, so let's get back to the video. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of skeletons here. Okay, there's a lot of skeletons here, that's a common thing. I think it's probably a better idea to not provoke some unearthly thing, but, you know, I'm gonna take down a bunch of these skeletons just because of that. Every time they try to go after Gary, they always miss. Oh, he does, oh yeah, he also does double attack too. I 
almost forgot about that. Pow! <laughs> oh, Dune style, we can handle all of it. So, this is just, uh... I can just keep doing that. I have no reason to. There's a lot of skeletons out here. Let's go with that old tag on it. What? Enter Cemetery Loan. This tag of the skull is here. It says, borrowed from the submission catacombs on. Jeez, this thing is lame. Borrowed. Oh, now I understand why they call this the Dave Yard. It is literally a Dave Yard. Here lies Dave L. Here lies Dave G. Let's beat the crap out of one of them. And smart looking skeletons now turn into a pile of bones. <laughs> Put them out of their misery. And a lot of bones out of this. I don't know what I need bones for. You don't have a bone to pick, but you do have a bone. You could sell them to a dental student. I don't know any dental students. <laughs> I love, uh... Gary's, yeah. Oh, I got shovel and I got boots. Which are surprisingly worse than my boots. Okay, I'll sell those then. Let me see. Ooh, spooky. All these dead men looking at. What do goblins do with their dead? Popping them. Popping to make new goblins. Never dying, sort of. Let's see. Yeah, they kind of just rebirth. I guess. This is where I got my needles. Ooh, angry cows have been being here, seeming. You guys get in trouble with f from the cows? Some, not like ranches do. Most of leaving us alone. But a running's in? Very happening. So mean, very angry, very fireful. Yeah, cows in this here parts are unforgiving. And we got another pistol. Yeah, we keep getting guns. Well, that has a lot of moxie and damage, jeez. Well, back to going up moxie. Guess I'll probably sell this pistol. It's got some value to it. This one, too. Jeez. 10 to 13. That's a major damage increase. Oh, I found a demon cow on accident. I could literally one-shot it now. And I got a toilet pistol. I might as well check its stats. Oh. So if I wanted to do stench damage instead of physical and apply five point, I guess I could keep that. That I doubt I'll use it, but you never know. Oh, wait, there's a stock certificate. Oh, wow, that's a lot of value. Sheesh. We got some stuff that I think I can give to the people in that kitchen area. What do you think of this, Gary? Looking here, flat wall cow. There's gonna be something in here. I've, I've watched. I've seen a little bit of this before. Another stock certificate. How many needles do I have? Because I don't want to burn through them all. Oh, Mary Stern's diary. AI and Dairy are crossed out with Diary. And a dolly under the cactus, and she told me her name was Grace. Grace, keep the cows. Grace, it says, keep the cows. Uh, okay, well, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but let's talk to it. Hi, I'm Grace. What's your name? Uh, Jester. <laughs> Hi, Jester. You're nice. Do you want to play with me? Uh, let's go along with it, but everything about this is fishy. All right. Mary used to play with me, but we did get to finish our tea party. Will you, will you finish it? Surely. Right. The game's almost somewhere. Mary did such a good job. Now go downstairs, get my cup, and do you know the magic word? What's the magic word? Peanut butter. All right. Well... For starters, I'm definitely not finishing this tea party, because whatever this is, is clearly demonic cow rituals. Yeah. 
No, destroy that. <laughs> destroy that goblet. Smash it everywhere in Bloodlands. Cracks appear. The altar groans. Yeah. Sheesh. I'm glad I got rid of that. I'm assuming the doll's gonna be. Hmm. Let's talk to him. Is it still there? You'll live to regret this. Oh, that's ominous. Don't worry, if you have to have to fight a doll, I'll make sure to uh, destroy it immediately. But we did the right thing, though. Everything about that was fishy as heck. Let's go back to Butterfield Range. Oh, we just we discovered another. Okay, well, all right, fine. Oh, it's all the way up there. All right, whatever, fine. What's going on here? This place was messed up by a gang of cows. All the tracks, we're gonna... Nope, well, never mind then. Butterfield Ranch. Ah, please. Let's make this easy, cow. Oh, this actually is no pushover. He has 88 health. Well... I hate to break it to you, mate. I can do twice as more damage as you. Well, that was easy. And I got a needle out of that. Red Hot Poker. No, that does more damage. No, it does is just about the same, but it does deal hot damage. So it's an option I can take. I haven't really used that varmint skinning knife that much. I think it does it automatically, so I don't... Okay, so I got Inferno Butter. Uh, Outhouse worth investigating. Lady Colbridge Mine, just west of here. Right there, there's a tunnel in there. And I don't have enough. <sighs> Whatever. What is this? I get basically just almost one shot. One eternity later. We're doing a lot of things this episode. Hello, a dark metal hole. Hello, out there. I was wait. I was waiting. Not up for exploring a mine. Better to stay in gear, out with open and wind and sky. Not underground, like a zoo dog. Well, he's got a point, I guess. He doesn't want to be a zoo dog. All right, let's see. First one's level S B. Doesn't have a lock. Second one is covered in goo, and the third one's covered in combination lock. Um. Well, I can crack the safe, so there's nothing inside but old empty milk. Well, then what about the first one? All right, we obviously got something in the first one. What about the second one? Uh, a goo-covered skeleton who actually is no pushover. But neither is Gary. Sheesh, I forgot. <laughs> you can do a lot more than one attack. Clearly, someone died in their... in their... locker. I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't expecting that one, but I do have a lot of bones. I... don't know if I can do anything with bones. I'm keeping a hold of them just to be safe. You never know. <laughs> Mind splaining. Oh, Curly's Compass. What is this? Northwestish. That means we gotta head northwest. You don't like the spiral one bit. Nobody would. You hate the spiral. You don't like this. I got a free pickaxe. Yeah, in case one of them gets destroyed. I don't think there's anything in this room, but it is cursed, that's for sure. Not the cows. It's a tuna cactus. I don't even know what that is. Pew. Pew pew. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Pew pew. pew, pew. 
I get the joke there. Not a priest, you you shouldn't miss for that. Relic. Alright, I'm assuming these guys are missing relics, because there's a bunch of empty cases. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What's wrong, sister? They came back. They just came back and took them. I couldn't stop them. Well, slow down, okay? What happened? Our holy relics. The saints just stormed in up out of the catacombs and took them back. Wow. I don't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The cardinal will. You're ready? What am I going to do? Start with, take a deep breath and try to calm down, okay? What's your name? I'm Sister Mary. My name's Justin. Now, what's this about saints? Our missions are, mission is to protect the three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper and it's my specific job to look after them. Wait, do they call you <laughs> Memento? And she shows you the ruler she keeps tucked in her sleeve. No, no they do not. Okay, sorry, sorry, so what happened? The saints, oh it's terrible. They just came back to life. Mm, came from the catacombs and they took the relics. They took back the relics? Yeah, they aren't recovered. If they aren't recoverable before the cardinal gets here, I'll be in so much trouble. How much time is there? Well, actually, he's months overdue, so it's probably not all urgent, but still. I'll go get him for you. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Oh, wait. Are you going to fight them to get the relic? Because that's probably blasphemous, too. I mean, probably, but if black magic brought them back to life, then that's super blasphemous, so it evens out. Oh dear, the Cardinal's going to want to have a very long talk about this, but go on ahead. Yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah. Good luck down there. Alright, I guess we're doing this. And then we'll check out that train yard, and that'll be our episode. Oh, it's a ritual. And these are all the saints. Well, now we figured out how they came to life. Might have been more of those, yep. Yep, the necromancers were here. So, necromancers are making skeletons rise. Oh! Never mind. No one told me that Saint Beef. Oh, his name was Saint Beef. Is. That's actually kind of funny. Take care of Saint all over the places. Okay, which one is the strongest in the group? The Sun Albi. Um, alright, well. I have a lot of dynamite, so let's try and weaken one of these. Uh, this one. And yeah, my snake is useless. I think I want to take down one of these uh, guys. Oh. Alright, we want to take care of the head first. I get it. Well, I think we took care of the one that was actually doing damage. Now we take care of the rib cage. The rest of the bones are basically useless. You can aim for the other one, Gary. The pelvis isn't really doing much. It literally says in words that it does nothing. Well, time to put this guy to rest. I got dead eye. Santa Gordana. <laughs> Alright, and the last saint. <laughs> I'm gonna insult him. He's summoning clones. I'm gonna get myself some more action points. So I can save this guy for next round. I like how- Oh, they actually did damage to them. Hmm. We gotta take down that cardinal. Yeah. That was close. We almost got- almost all scary there. Sorry if I was silent. I was trying to think in my mind. It was a fake poop hat. I am a pope, seriously. Uh, so that wannabe pope was actually the 
Well, oh wait, no, that saint was a wannabe pope. Well, I don't need any luck, because the job is done. Wow, you recovered all the relics. Oh, praise be. Thank you. I'm glad to help, sister. It's a reward for your efforts. We don't have much, but these boots really look like they may fit you. Max might be, what are they, armor versus AP. Hmm. I'll keep a hold of them if I need more moxie. <laughs> like I have 24 moxie. I'll just keep a hold of the hats if I feel like wearing a different hat. But now I got a fake Pope hat. Oh, sheesh, that's funny. All right, all right, we're gonna end off this episode by checking out the railroad camp. Wow, wow, wow. The iron snake is much bigger than when up close looking and hearing of people inside. It has eating them. It's not a snake, it's a train. Those are passengers inside. Are you actually unclear on how this works? Ah, <laughs> no, Gary is fooling with you. you Knowing a train does not eat people, big machine with wheels having. Okay, cool. Many loud screaming. Howdy there. Well, who's in charge of this outfit? Well, if me be, if I'm being terrible, I'd say that fella here's my hat is the foreman. And if you're not, then I'd say I'm the paperback idiot over there in the absurd white hat is the fella you're looking for. Are you in charge? I was wondering if there is anything I can do. Yeah, hey, you, you want to know something? I love trains. Oh, ever since I was a little boy, huge, magnificent, roaring beasts. They were magical to me, like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take advantage of this railing, I jumped on it like a sh like a shot. And you know what happened? Eh, uh, what's that? Organizing and building, riding on one of these operations, the most amazing pain in the butt you will ever imagine. You want to help? Congratulations, you're the new foreman. I'm going home to play with my models. Well, now I suppose you can't be any worse than the last clown. Oh, I guess I'm the boss now. All right, name's me, your assistant. What's the situation? Well, I'm sure you didn't miss seeing the giant pile of rocks blocking our path. The surveyors say that there isn't much uh, suitable mountain pass, so we can't reroute around, even if we had amounts to take. The yeah, ideas. Calculations dynamite you need to lock them. Goblins are all up a gust of angles they have probably. I mean I have dynamite, but clearly it's not enough of it. There was a year supply that was at the dynamite dance camp. But that costs money. Well, uh yeah, anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm probably gonna take my screenshot here. And uh I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah, it's a pretty active episode, and I think we got through it relatively quickly, so I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, whatever that'll be. Uh, peace out, everyone. I'm sorry for that lame outro. I really am. <laughs> uh, sheesh. Well, that's it for you. Say bye to Gary.